1242, welcome back. Well, it is well proven that education has the power to transform lives, especially for those who haven't had the easiest path growing up. That's why the ACES Youth Justice and Education Services exist, and we are joined live by Director Lisa Simone. Lisa, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. So tell us a bit about the services that you offer um, to the youth in our communities. Absolutely. So um, we actually started in juvenile justice almost five years ago. So we have three educational programs in juvenile justice residential settings. We also um, now have a sixth through 12th grade community, uh, middle and high school. So it's been, it's been a fantastic opportunity for our kids who leave the juvenile justice settings. A lot of them end up returning to us in the community. So we're able to continue the work with, um, with the students, increasing their academic excellence, um, and a lot of diversionary efforts we've been doing um, at a state level as well as through ACES. And why is it important for um, these children, young adults, to have programs like this? Because as, I mean, I was actually watching the news earlier, um, a lot of our children are getting caught up in dangerous situations out in the community. So consequently, what happens is, or I shouldn't even say consequently, subsequently what we've decided to do is we have a lot of programs, mentorship programs that we've put in place in um, ACEs, youth justice and education services in order to really deter our kids or deter our kids away from those actions and pulling them back into education, pulling them back into more of a community model within our school settings. And I'm sure you've seen a number of success stories. Yeah, it have. must be so rewarding for you. Could you give us some examples? Yes, I actually had a, a young man last year who had been in and out of judicial settings and he ended up coming to us in our community model, the Bridget Aces, and um, he ended up getting caught up in something else. And what was really nice is that I was able to go with him with our state um, juvenile justice team and I was able to get him back into our school. He graduated high school. He came back to us in the summer and led our new mentorship program. Wow, and, and there's... A a connection there that you can't get from someone who hasn't been through that. There's something so special about having a mentor who has been through it yes. and made it to the other side, right? Yes, absolutely. So what we did was this year, we have a lot of um, services that we're, we're starting this year, but one that I'm just so excited about is our mentorship program. A lot of times when we work with our kids, whether they're in the residential settings or in the community, they work, and nothing wrong with adult mentors, but we wanted to look at working with our kids who have been through the process, through the system, training them. Actually, we're starting a whole training uh, program next week. And then we're going to take our mentors and put them in the younger grades to work with kids who could be perceived as at risk and really diverting them from the juvenile justice process. We had two young, um, young men, one being the young man I spoke about this summer who got involved with the mentorship program, and it was hysterical. Within the first two days, the boys are knocking on my door, <laughs> and they're like, Miss, they're too young to be this cranky and have so many problems. And I just looked at them, and they're like, okay, fine. And they walked out <laughs> the door. But it was through their journey, they're able to give back. And it has just been, we're just really, really excited to um, to start this at a, at a larger um, capacity this school year. Yeah, I think it's wonderful what you do. And very quickly before we go to break, uh, tell our viewers how they can maybe get involved or if they have someone in mind who would benefit from the program, where should they go? Absolutely, so go to aces.org. Um, and then what you could do is that there's a lot of drop downs in aces.org so you can locate the bridges at aces That's probably the best way to get a hold of me. All of my contact information is in there and um, I would love that I would love to get more mentorship programs and more um, Programs in the community to come in to work with us. We yeah. do a lot of state work um, Also through the juvenile justice policy oversight committee So there's a lot of ways to get involved ways. and of course you can go to aces.org for that information our website as well We'll have that wtnh.com. We'll be right back